Hey, and welcome to Melodies of Life. I'm your host, Anna Enka. Today's episode is about how you can overcome your diseases. Incurable in my profession means curable from within, and the body does everything it can to teach people love. People's physiology reveal their psychology. Illness offers people a deep insight and provides them with a profound meaning. The darker emotion that we mask and bury deep inside our mind create a biochemical response with the body and begin to change our biology, leading to many diseases. Most people don't understand their body's feedback messages. Your body is telling you about your perception, decision, and action in your daily life. When I work with clients, I look at what pains people have and what they can do about them, how their emotions affect their body's well-being, and how their body communicates regardless of what people tell me. It's not what people say. It's all in their life. It demonstrates it daily. What their body reveals about their parents, what their posture is telling them about the relationship, their attitude to finances, and what their underlying lies and suppression they are hiding. What their body is revealing about their mind's hidden agenda, and what their body is saying about their belief in life and etc. Once I decode the body's messages, what they really are saying and the meaning, people's uh, physiology and psychology and life will never ever be the same. Because health, I believe we can create so-called illness in our body and, and by the mind because the way we think and um, how we live our life. Because the body is a mirror of our thoughts and beliefs. The body is always talking to us if we were only to make the time to listen. But unfortunately, most of us don't. And every cell in your body responds to every single thought you think and every word you speak. Your cells are very aware of your thoughts. Believe it or not, your body is a servant that's working so hard to keep you in a perfect health, no matter how you treat it. Your body knows how to heal itself if you feed it healthy foods and not processed food, if you drink healthy beverages, not taking drugs or alcohol, and find time for daily exercise with weights. That's very important. Not just cardio, not just classes. You got to do weights. And most importantly, a good night's sleep Uh, and not staying up all night being on your phone, watching numerous TV shows, and what else you do in the evenings, go to bed. Uh, When we get efficient sleep and we have a balanced mind with happy thoughts, then your cells are working in a happy and healthy atmosphere. Would you agree? If you choose to be a victim and you hate everything about yourself and others or being negative, angry, sad, stressed, or allowed to be run by your emotion, by being depressed and complaining all the time, guess what? Then your cells are working in disadvantages in this agreeable atmosphere. And that is what breeds disease. I see it all day long. And if you want good health, it needs to come from self-respect, gratitude, love, and appreciation. And you want to put in as much love as you can into your body every single day. And most of us don't, right? If there is a part of you that has pain or is uh, diseased, how do you behave around it? Have you asked yourself like that? Uh, Are you treating it like a sick little child? Are you telling it how much you love it? No, I don't think so. Or are you doing everything you can to help it to get well quickly? No, you don't. You just wait it out, right? Or you take medicine or something else, right? Because most people look for quick fixes or a magical drug that they will take. But unfortunately, that is not enough. Because you need to do more than just go to the doctor and have them give you a chemical to take care of the symptoms. Remember, it's not a cure. They only numb the symptoms. The body is telling you that you are doing something that is not good for you. 
Why are you refusing to listen to it? You got to listen to your body. It talks to you every single day. Remember, your continuous way of speaking to yourself and how you're thinking produces the body's behavior, posture, eases, or diseases. So the people who have permanently scrolling faces do not show that they are having a joyous and loving thoughts. Would you agree? No matter what they say to you, because all I need to do is to look on their face and their face tells me more than the words they are telling me. Old people's faces and bodies clearly show a lifetime of thinking patterns, right? So think about that for a second. When you look at somebody, you know, some people you can just see they're a happy person and they have always been a happy person. And then you see other people, you look at them and they're really scary looking. Like they look like a witch or evil or really, really angry or grumpy, right? You can see that in their faces. Uh, And then you have the other kind that it's just like you look at them, but you don't really know or they're happy, sad or whatever, right? They just look bland. And so I always ask people, how do you want to look like? When you are older, think about that. Take a good look on your face tonight in the mirror and ask yourself, how will you look like? Because you need to learn to accept that life is not a series of random events. Instead, it's a pathway to awakening. If every day in your life is an awakening, you will never grow old. You will just keep growing, right? You And only you could customize your own life cycle. You're here for an important reason. And all you need is available to you. And it's a choice. Do you want to do your homework? Do you want to work on yourself? Or are you just going to leave it to the fate, right? You can create thoughts that create a mental atmosphere that contributes to illness by being negative and always complaining. Or you can choose to think thoughts that create a healthy atmosphere both within you and around you. And that means to have, you know, happy thoughts and be positive and find for solution instead of complaining if there is a problem, because there's always solutions. I don't see problem as problems. There's always solutions to them. So I don't want you to choose to feel like a victim. If you are, then you just give your power away. And that is nonsense because you need to understand you're too important to give it away. So don't do it. I hope that by giving you this correlated mental physical coding at the forefront of your mind, you will be more wisely prepared to deal with your life's way perceived support and challenges because we don't think like that and no one is talking about it out there. So I want you to remember to know what your mind and body is saying is to know what yourself is thinking and feeling. And that's a really hard pill to swallow, but that's reality. To know yourself, to love yourself, and to be yourself is the key to a fulfilling life filled with happiness and wellness. Try it. You won't regret it. Don't be like a lot of fake people out there. They pretend and they oh, they say all these beautiful words that you want to say. But if you really look closely, the life demonstrates who they really are, not what they try to convince everybody else that they are. And... And I wanted to give you some examples here on some diseases and see if they relate to you or if they relate to someone you know. So many people suffer from the devastating Crohn's disease. Uh, I know in Sweden, where I am from, a lot of people have it, you know. And uh, if you ask a doctor, they will tell you it is an autoimmune disease and the psychosomatic factors of the conditions are... But the doctors are not going to tell you that. They're just going to tell you there is no cure, right? So when I work with people, I will tell them that they have scattered daily priorities. There's too many ideas attempted to be assimilated at once. They have scattered energies due to attempting to please too many people at once and minimizing to others' expectations. And... 
you will have feeling of oppression and defeat due to perceptions of overreach, uh, over, um, like authorities, you know, that they're telling you all day long what you're supposed to do. It could be parents, it could be bosses at the workplace, or it could be friends. So either one of those. And the solution is that you need to work on people who impose expectation and distract you from your higher priorities. Who is that person? Learn to prioritize and delegate your life. By doing that, you can start a regular exercise plan, you know, make a commitment, quit smoking, and no uh, concentrative hormones, dietary supplements, and high fiber intake, and hydration, and probiotics, and the list goes on and on and on and on. There's so many things that you can do, and, you know, when we do investigate a little bit and we educate ourselves, you know, there's a lot of choices than just run to the doctor and get a pill and think that, okay, I have to live with this medicine for the rest of my life and this is my disease and I have to accept it. I don't believe in that. You know, I truly don't. And I don't accept or take the answer of a doctor, you know, because I have an obligation to myself to really find the cure and the answers and not what some doctor that went to school for five years and read a book is going to tell me that this is what you're going to be having for the rest of your life. I don't believe in that. Another one that is very common is the IBS disease. It's another um, disease that affects the stomach and the intestines. And people will have like symptoms as cramping, uh, stomach pain, bloating, gas, diarrhea, constipation, or both. Um, and it's also labeled as a chronic condition. Be, uh, but what they don't understand is the brain and the gut are intimately connected. Not a doctor is going to tell you that. So I want you to ask yourself, are you taking on too much of other people's expectations? Are you holding on, then letting go, then holding on, then letting go back and forth? Are you scattered? And you need to be working on yourself and others that are trying to please and subordinate to. Write them down on a list. Who are they, right? And really ask yourself those questions and be honest to yourself. Uh, and I also want you to have, um, you know, I'm going to address it again, have a regular exercise plan. Practice relaxation, use fiber supplement, priorities, daily activities, and focus on high priorities. And avoid aggravating foods. And the list is very long. So do some research and find out exactly what type of food you should be avoiding to make the symptom less. And this disease is something that so many people have. And I don't think, I don't know one person who doesn't have it. And so that is fi fibromyalgia. And it's a disease that is classified as an inflammatory muscle disease, right? Uh, it affects the central nervous system. It is a widespread muscle pain accompanied by fatigue and sleep problems. And the people that have it have tremendous pain. And I know they can be on five to ten different medication to just numb the pain, right? And the doctor's going to tell you it has no cure. And, uh, but you're also going to realize you have stresses or events that are stored in the muscles and joints. So you need to ask yourself, what are these stresses? What events? is it that I am storing, right? And here's some few questions you can do. Ask yourself, do you have unmet expectations due to unrealistic expectation of yourself or others? And that's a very difficult one, but you need to be honest to yourself because if you do work on yourself, you're going to see a lot of things going to disappear from your body. And also think about if you are stacked up with resentment from your childhood or in the adulthood. 
fantasy or delusion about relationship or business expectation that has been shattered. I mean, the list goes on and on and on, but be honest and really take a good look and you will find a lot of answers in there. Then we have arteritis. It's an extremely common disease, especially in older people, and it causes joint pain, stiffness, and inflammation. And the common symptoms include pain, redness, heat, swelling in your joints with very limited movement. So the people that have it uh, will describe it as very, you know, painful. And once again, they take a lot of medicine to just bring down the inflammation and get rid of the pain, right? And it's more common in men, I mean in women than men, and affects actually all ages, not not just the old people. I, I know a lot of young people that have it. And this is another disease that the doctor's going to tell you there is no cure for it. Uh, and the only goal that they have is to limit your pain with medication. That's the only answer they have. They got to get you on that medication and got to keep you going on it. I want you to ask yourself instead, are you having judgment? Um, like filled emotions? Are you rigid, imbalanced emotions? Are you having blame or maybe shame or feeling like a victim? Inflamed emotions are like criticism, resentment, bitterness, blaming others, and desire to punish. Or you might be feeling unloved, right? If you do, here is an affirmation that you can practice daily. And it really, really works. And I am a high believer in affirmations. You know, what we say and what we put out there, we are going to get. So as a daily practice, you can say the following. I whatever your name is, enjoy the foods that are best for my body. I, whatever your name is, make healthy choices. I have respect for myself. I look forward to a healthy old age because I take loving care of my body now. I am the only person who has control over my eating habits. I can always resist something if I choose to. I drink a lot of water to cleanse my body and mind. I fill my mind with pleasant thoughts. It's the quickest road to health. So practice that every day and you will see some magic will happen. Another important factor for a healthy body is that I work with people on forgiveness. And I always say, you can never be free of bitterness if you continue to think unforgiving thoughts. How can you be happy in the present moment, if you continue to choose to think angry and resentful thoughts, then you're just living in the past, right? You're not here. Thoughts of bitterness will not create joy, no matter how justified you feel you are, no matter what they did. If you insist on holding on to the past, then you will never, never be free. Forgiveness of yourself and others will release you from the prison of the past when you feel that you're stuck in the same situation. When you do not feel that you flow freely in the moment, it usually means you're holding on to the past moment. It can be regret, sadness, hurt, fear, or guilt, anger, resentment, and sometimes a desire for revenge. A lot of people are living like that, unfortunately. Each of those statements comes from a place of unforgiveness and refusal to let go and come into the present moment. Only in the present moment can you create your future. If you're holding on to the past, you cannot be in the present. It is only in the now moment that your words and thoughts are powerful. When you blame another person, you give your own power away because you're placing the responsibility of your feelings onto somebody else. People will always behave in ways that's going to trigger uncomfortable responses in each of us. However, they do not get into our minds and create the buttons that they that have been pushed. Would you agree? And taking responsibility for our own feelings and reaction is mastering our ability to respond. 
We learn consciously to choose rather than simply react. Forgiveness is a tricky and very confusing concept for many people. There is a difference between forgiveness and acceptance. Forgiving someone does not mean that you condone to their behavior and the act of forgiveness takes place in your own mind. It really has nothing, nothing to do with the other person. The reality of true forgiveness lives in seeing ourselves free from holding on to past pain. And all you do is re- you release yourself from the negative energy, letting go and release them by taking a stand and setting healthy boundaries is the most beautiful thing you can do for yourself. And here's another one you can practice on and you can tell yourself daily. As I forgive myself, it becomes easier to forgive others. I forgive myself for not being perfect. I'm living the very best way I know how. It is now safe to release all my childhood traumas and move into love. I forgive everyone in my past for all perceived wrongs. I release them all with love. I have the freedom to make my life anything I want because I have a freedom of choice and so do you. Once I decode people's body messages, what they really are saying and the meaning, people's physiology and psychology in life will never be the same. Trust me, because the Anna Enke method is a healing process that leads to the healing of the physical body. It's a process that takes commitment and courage and self-discovery and the inner transformation make it all worth it. The beautiful process of healing is priceless. And... I would, it would be an honor to work with you to create your life that is disease-free and a body and a happy mental atmosphere for you. If you want to work with me, guess what? Please visit my website, Anna Inca Wellness. Use my code PODCASTAA and you will get your first session for $100. If you have any questions while listening, please subscribe and leave your comments and you will receive answers to your specific questions please hit the subscribe button so you never miss an episode. And if you love it, please give me a review and share it. That will allow me to impact people worldwide. Thank you for listening. Love always, Anna.